Hey, Centerpoint families, thanks again for joining us for another week of our midweek family devotions. Now this week, the inspiration for our devotions is playing the opposite game. As the adult, you say one word and then your kids will shout out words that are opposite of that. So some examples would be tall or short or wet or dry or happy or sad. You get the idea. So play that game for a few rounds and then we're gonna talk about our differences as people. How in a family unit, there are going to be many of us within our own families that we're kind of opposite. I know I'm more a little bit outgoing and a little loud and my husband and one of my kids, they're a little bit more quiet and a little more shy. And sometimes when we have these differences differences with one another, it causes us maybe not to be as patient with one another. So we want to be talking about patience and how our differences and our differences, we can be patient with one another. Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 13 about how love is. Here's what he says. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud. So the very first thing he says about love is that it's patient. When we love each other, we are patient with one another. So that is what uh, hopefully you will be able to talk about within your family. And I have a few questions that you can kind of use as a discussion uh, to talk to your kids about being loving and being patient. The first one is, why do you think patience is an important part of loving people? You know, God showed us love first by giving us his son Jesus and dying on the cross for us. And so God shows great patience with us. And he also wants us in turn to show patience with one another. And so once again, that first question is, why do you think patience is an important part of loving people? Second of all, uh, just take some time as a family to talk about, is there someone that you specifically need to be more patient with? Maybe um, it's someone within your family, or maybe it's someone at school or at work or maybe just someone that you know in your neighborhood. Maybe you need to be more patient with that person. Then, one more question. What is the one thing you can do to show patience to that person? So maybe think of some ways that you can show patience and, um, and then actually do those things. I know one of the things that Jesus also commanded us to do was to pray for those um, who are different from us and that, um, sometimes that we have a difficult time with. And so I would encourage you as you wrap up your time together and talking about patience to pray for the people by name that you mentioned that you need to show more patience to. This is a great activity to do um, not only with your kids, but just to spend some time reflecting on yourself as an adult. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you will uh, take advantage of this fun activity to do with your kids. And as always, we can't wait to see you soon, Centerpoint families. See ya. Bye.